Hello guys, um, today I already uh, promised some of my friends and also some of the followers in the discussion group Everyone hates the new cancer, the vampire deck, the royal deck and even some of the anti-meta like the Aegis deck and you want a deck that you can beat all of them I have a recommendation from you that I took this list from um, Rizal so um, uh, in his Twitter and I mod it a bit to like uh, more toward my playstyle but I, I do think this is acceptable uh, modifications so this is uh, the, the graph list so if you want a deck list please look at the description below uh, there's, a, there's a deck code link there so one special card I want to talk about is the Noish why this card is so good and you must put 3 because when you have this in play if your opponent like let's say your opponent play a uh, Aegis your opponent play a uh, spawn of the Abyss you just play this card you attack with his you attack to his face and then uh, the only choice that he can do is to clear your followers because he's going to deal you only 3 damage with Aegis with spawn of the Abyss insanely good is basically the best answer I can actually look for is because even if let's say he is like uh, on the ambush mode you can still do something about it and it's only two costs to just empty the two very heavy heater now in the meta and the rest of the thing is rather similar to the standard rather standard um, Seraph uh, Heavencraft. The only thing that I add on is the Bahamut is because you have so many amulet and they have very good synergy with Bahamut and not to mention that you need extra win con sometimes I just feel like I, I grind my opponent like to turn throughout turn even 15, 20 something but eventually I just like short of their one turn I cannot handle their board or maybe they just have some storm follower eventually and I just die so I have some tweak is that I have one Bahamut instead. So now I'm going to show you three replay. It's uh, playing against those um, top tier deck, that the three cancel deck. I'll say, <laughs> yeah, and uh, this should give you a clear idea that why I love this deck so much. But to be honest, I do have I do pick up some losses because I'm not really familiar with the deck yet. So please bear with me for that. So in this deck is rather similar and a lot of people will just think that yeah man this is just an AG so I, I should be able to win but the vampire player once you hit turn 8 you play the Seraph they don't have the spawn of everything in play basically just win the game. So uh, what you want to do is try to play your amulet in turn 1 or 2 and make a very big card advantage in the mid game if it's possible but uh, my opinion is uh, don't play this too early <laughs> yeah, uh, try to if you are playing against like especially royal try to play follower first because you need to kill your opponent followers in order to um, like shorten it down so like in this case right I get to remove my opponent followers with my snow white and also the, the charge count is the same if I if, let's say I play last turn the charge card will actually be the same, but my opponent is going to play maybe something like a 2-2. So now I actually have like much better bot, bot position. So my Snow White was removed. Uh, don't bother to play other things, just play another Snow White. And the reason why you play another Snow White is because you want to make sure your scalp can actually get rid of his followers. Maybe he have something like 3-4 or maybe evolve something and then uh, feed into you or whatever. So. You just want to make sure you, you can remove his followers. Yeah, so uh, of course you only have one followers, not much to think about. Uh, kill that, go face. Try to save our evolve for the critical moment. Because in this deck there's five cards that have special uh, there's four cards that have special with evolve. Uh, and we do have Tammy's as well, so a lot of times that when we are on to just handle one of our opponent followers, we just need to use the evolve. But when our opponent have a lot of followers, we don't really rely that much on like something like maybe Goblin uh, Slayer. Or you don't really need the, those Goblin Breakers, Tina. You just need like one time. I'll uh, just try to evolve something like the the Teen Soldier, 
Or oh, the yeah, or something like this. It should be enough. And my opponent have some like a uh, very but very tricky tweak in his deck. I'm not really sure why. But uh, even playing with like against normal neutral craft, I think the you can see the idea is almost there. We we do have a lot of removals in hand always, and they are low cost, effective, powerful, and they are always afraid of our Tammies. Even even if we don't have it, like just now we don't have it. So this turn is rather bad, is because I don't really have the yeah because I I don't really have this in hand, the Seraph in hand, so. It might be a bit tricky. So it's a good idea that my opponent actually trip with me. I'm totally fine there. So here I'm going to draw until 9. Remove one of his followers. Play the Seraph when I have 17 life. So yeah, that is the, the key part. So my opponent actually play an uh, ancient hero. But this build might be good against like uh, the other royal build or maybe the other vampire build. Uh, but uh, as you can see that against my deck is all the followers that is 8 cost and above is re not that relevant to me as you can see yeah so I'm just going to simply uh, loop everything and have the win here because the opponent when they, they see heaven craft especially for sword craft no matter which build he is in, his team will tend to like don't overextend the board. So it's almost always possible you can actually just control their board um, and try to uh, win by Seraph. With then you you are able to like clear their board to a certain extent, while uh, all the followers that you leave behind in the extern or the amulet that you leave behind the extern. So it is <coughs> a very tricky deck that you really need to know the timing. Like okay, when my uh, Aria will come out. When when will it burst? Uh, what what my opponent will play and this this time after all the between the synergy between the how to say the sequence of playing all the amulets is very important. So now the next game I want to show you is the against another anti meta deck, which is the Aegis Bishop that is very from is very famous. It's also quite popular in the master rank now. I'm not really sure about like double A and below, but uh, this game I. I'm playing second and my opponent have a rather good start. He have the Unico, he have the Uh he's playing Ira actually, yeah. I think he also have Aegis. If I'm not wrong. But uh in this match it's a very a very funny thing is I have two snow whites. So what happens if you have a lot of snow whites is you have you can control the bot rather well. Uh but I didn't play it because Arya need more turn to uh cash out. And I only I don't have the particular spell to <coughs> sorry to cash it out. So I rather just play it first. But the next turn I can actually just play my sister to yeah sister apprentice to actually just cash out my area. And I just stop co completely go blank in my fourth turn to blank his iron maiden. And now I'm going to just pop this out and. I'm going to just use Evolve to kill his uh, Tina and the reason it's very simple is because you don't want to leave any follower behind for Elena uh, Bishops, I mean Heavencraft so and even if he used Tammy's I will still have a 2-3 so it's still not that bad so burn using 2 uh, Sculpt Darkness Sculpt and uh, he's going to uh, Evolve his followers, the Rabbit Heal, uh, Rabbit Heal so the rabbit here evolve here is not that bad, but he actually decided to kill the uh, bird instead of the tiger. So I I just remove him by using the amulet and attack phase. Uh, this is actually a play miss because I should have evolved here. I have Tammy's hand and <coughs> the turn after Tammy's I'm going to most likely I'm going to use this the seraph. And if I evolve here, then he can't even kill me by evolve. So this is also a very funny part. If my opponent just kill me by evolve, I might be in a rather bad shape. But he didn't. So I'm going to put a clock here while uh, playing another followers. So the reason why I play here is because I have two copy, and also I want to have more block presence. 
just in case uh, my opponent might play Odin, so you won't know. So I want to have another win con. So here my opponent is not uh, evolving again. So I'm going to just take the chance here to play Seraph. The reason is very simple because I have two, you can see, this is the two amulet that is counting down to threaten to kill his creature. And I am in a very healthy 20 life while our opponent is only at 6. So this is a very uh, interesting game state. But uh, quite unfortunate that my opponent have the Aegis and, he, and now he show you why he didn't evolve for the last turn because he want his Aegis to be relevant and also quite unfortunate that my my amulet kill uh, target uh, random target is the Aegis so it doesn't kill anything <laughs> but same I play Noish I play one spell uh, to fasten it out and then I play two of them so now my opponent can only attack me for three <laughs> and of course I win <laughs> So this is the key part that I want to say is this stop ages. So the last but not least, or rather to say is the most important and everyone want to see how we match against Vampire, right? I think everyone here hates Vampire. Um, my Facebook friend chat is like having about 100 comments, everyone is scolding about how imba, how cancerous it is. I do agree that you can actually uninstall your brand when you are playing Vampire when you are going first. You almost 50% win the game even your brain is not working to be honest but when you're going second it actually is a very skill intensive deck so uh, quite fortunate enough this game actually I'm playing first so of course what uh, set, uh, what we do is the card selection rather to say the card advantage right the more important thing is the card selection because our card have uh, we have three parts of cards is the removal amulet uh, a card advantage, removal and a win con. So it's very clear cut and we need three of them to actually win the game. So instead of trading his um three three here, I decide to just uh keep my Snow White alive. Uh hard to say whether it's correct or wrong, but uh I am going to draw three cards in the next turn. If I can just draw a removal, I can just remove his three three and keep a two two one in board. But unfortunately enough, this is a random one, he get rid of the 2-3 instead. So I'm going to just trade it here, because I don't want him to evolve and give me 5 damage in phase. So what you do is always try to prevent damage to phase, while opponent have evolved points. Yeah, that is the most. Uh, that is one of the very important things. So this is another thing I want to talk about, is uh, why I play this. It's because I have the healing praying, and the healing praying is going to minus 1 to all the amulet in field. So this actually solved the problem that uh, this amulet just costs too much. Like four last word is way too much that a lot of people will think of. Yeah, so my opponent just play by more uh, Baphomet and then uh, remove my five four my teen soldier. So now I'm having a hard time here because there is nothing really, yes, really nothing much that I can actually do about it. But I decided to just uh, pass my turn because my follow my my opponent uh, know that this amulet is here, so he cannot play his um, spawn of Aries. So he's forced to just play something else, and I'm not worried about that because I'm going to just uh, get rid of it very soon. So in this situation, I decided to just heal the life back, uh, get more ball presence, and I uh, try to put up some offense since I don't have my. Seraph in hand, so I need to have a way to actually deal damage and to like threaten my opponent because we can't really beat 3 AVs. Uh, can uh, sometimes, uh, but most of the time just cannot. So, yeah, we will be trying to uh, lure him out. And my opponent uh, is doing this, and we can really read. Okay, so when your opponent is actually killing your followers with the first evolve uh, uh, spawn of AVs. You can actually read that he have another copy in hand because now he's at seven. The next thing he's going to be at eight. So this is a very important part that you need to read that he have it. So what I do is I just kill that with the Temis because the next turn I already know that I'm going to play Noish and Temis again. So you can see here. Okay, you use your evolve point, bro. Yep, and I'm going to take 3 damage. 
You see, this is the amazing part is that you can just play him with removal. You have six removal to deal with spawn, and you have three noise to know, try to like lower down the damage. So now I have one big problem is I don't have the enemies anymore. But uh, it's lucky enough that I have the 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 spawn. I have the Goblin Breaker Tina, so I can just use her evolve together with the. Uh, what is the name again? Yeah, with the judge, uh, and then um, just wipe our opponent board again and build our support presence. So this is a rather sad situation. Is that we don't have evolve point anymore, while we have the Teen Soldier in hand, and also our hand is like not very very aggressive because we we didn't we just didn't draw our win con. But uh, after I say it, then I draw the wing con straight away, and lucky enough, we have the three minus counter in hand, which happen quite often because you don't really have a lot of time to do that <laughs> when your opponent is doing all this. So my opponent also know that uh, I'm going to threaten later next turn, so he's trying to put up uh, as much damage as possible. But quote, very unfortunately, that we already have all the pieces in hand. And we managed to win this game, and even without the pieces, uh, he is having an empty hand. I can uh, heal, I can hemis, and eventually I can heal. So even I don't have three, I just draw into a hemis. It's still fine. I can just wipe his bot. I'm at six life. He cannot kill me in one cut. Okay. So. After the 3 replay, let's uh, get back to the deck. So I think the, the 3 game actually just show you roughly how the deck works. And another card that I want to talk about is this. This amulet draw you 3 cards. And it actually have effect when you evo uh, just kill your opponent followers. Um, but it always it usually works in like turn 5 or 6. When you this deck, your, your curve is actually very low. You tend to use a lot of cards in combination. It's like when turn five onwards, you are using two cards. So on, with only um, the wish, uh, sometimes you might go into a phase that you will be out of hand cards. So this is also important, and not to mention that this works well when you're like playing in, in like turn five and then turn six, you just tammy draw three cards. It's very often. So you can just all the way come back from behind in both uh, hand and board so this is roughly the i think this will conclude my video today so anything comment like share really welcome thank you for watching this is inaki here uh i hope to see you guys around soon